in TCS, we have three short review today. I have full days of work. I'm 40 hours maxed out. Dag nabbit. The first card I'd like to go over is Nothing to Hide. It is a sapphire action. One, it costs one. And you can ink it, of course. Each opponent reveals their hand. Draw a card. Okay. This is nice. It doesn't take a card out of the opponent's hand. If it were in green, perhaps we'll see something a little bit like that later. I don't feel very strongly about nothing to hide. Hand reveal in other card games is quite strong. You don't, unlike other card games, remove any cards from the hand. Uh, that would have made it really, really good if it would remove an action or something along those lines. Yet, uh, drawing a card is kind of the backhand, like, you don't get much. You do get another card, though, for playing this card. Which is, like, okay. Like, I don't, I don't think Nothing to Hide is game-breaking. I do instead believe that Nothing to Hide is another lackluster Sapphire card that, uh, will... Uh, fade into obscurity. Speaking of lackluster sapphire cards, we have Cruella Deville, perfectly wretched, a shift three Cruella that costs five, four strength, three willpower. Whenever this character quests, chosen opposing character gets negative two strength this turn. And she quests for two lore. Cruella, the two cost in sapphire is a really really good addition in sapphire for rise of the floodborn however cruella de vil perfectly wretched is missing out on a bit of things when you pay three ink you're likely not receiving uh very many things uh when you're shifting through except on the uh, initial body of having a four strength three willpower character you likely imagine for it to cost three. These are bad stats, guys. These are not good, and paying five for that stat line just feels so very bad. I don't, it's just, it, I couldn't find a way to make it feel good to me. She is a villain. It, I, I think the Sapphire cards are just not good enough. Again, the Gumbo Pot and the Grandpappy. They are just the best we, we've seen, and there isn't any support the rest of it, other than the small Corella. Don't think we'll find them. Oh well. Of the highest tier ink in the new set, I believe, is a Cheshire Cat from the Shadows. 5 strength, 6 willpower, 8 inkable cost. Two lore he quests for, and he shift five with evasive. Whoa. And, of course, there's an effect, and it isn't a negative effect. It's Wicked Smile. Exert to banish chosen damaged character. This is a high-end drop. I'd like to initially go over the shifts that you have available to you in Cheshire Cat. Two inkable three strength two willpower addition with rise of the floodborne is an excellent shift for this cheshire cat from the shadows the reception of three strength and four willpower paying five for them isn't like absurd and questing for two is like good but isn't that great when you consider you were only you quested for one before like prior to it uh, another thing to consider is putting it on the th the one that we already have, the three cost, zero three, losing the effect of banish a character that challenged and defeated this character in a challenge is kind of big. I don't think Cheshire Cat from the Shadows is as good as he looked initially. Yeah, the banish chosen damage character is really good, right? If he is a Floodborne character, which is of course something that we need to keep. Keep watch because the Chief Boko is very good. He costs a lot. And by costing a lot, you lose a lot of uh, tempo. Perhaps you could have 
use this tempo to build the rest of your board. Play something smaller and put something that's a bit more geared towards your beast synergy. I don't believe he finds it in the deck. Cheshire Cat from the Shadows, don't get me wrong, is a great, great card. Do I think he's going to see as much play as people initially expect? No, I don't. And I don't believe he'll, he'll see another unless we find a better Cheshire Cat for him to go on to. Because the, four che the two Cheshire Cats that make eight Cheshire Cats are not good together. Instead, you'd rather play stuff that either deals damage or stuff that you could shift onto for playing your songs. Very important that we have synergistic deck building happening for uh, the ease of use. Piloting is an important factor. And if you're playing the I have to get Cheshire Cat out, then that makes it a bit more awkward than playing the game. Very fun. I'm not sure if we'll see him, like, ever. Yeah, really. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already. That really greatly helps me out, and I appreciate every single one of you who have tuned in to the video. I will see you next time when we have more to review. Bye!